Hello everybody and welcome back to the Wattpad Book Club. <laughs> today I am joined with Coda. <laughs> Hello. Uh, uh, today I'm a little snotty and my voice is a little weird. So I'm sorry everybody. <laughs> Dude, you're, you're doing great. At least you sound a bit normal Thank you. instead of like... like yeah, I'm, I'm trying in. real hard. So as the wheel has blessed us once again, we, <laughs> we've been doing a Luffy x <laughs> For some reason, even though this boy is literally the main character, I could not find literally anything good. Yeah. But we did find two options. <laughs> because at least we're gonna get silly today. Yeah, we might get a little silly. <laughs> I love silly. So, the first one that we have, let me pull up the, the thing. Okay. So the first one that I have pulled up is roommates. Uh, Coda found this one, and it just the description says being roommates with Luffy isn't that bad, right? Right. And <laughs> so I'm pretty sh- I'm pretty sure this is just some shenanigans, which I feel like we'll love and we'll laugh at. <laughs> yeah. And then I found this one before recording. It's a Luffy X reader called Happiness, and the description reads. You're a girl who lives in a small village that kills anyone who doesn't follow the leader. You have become a psychopath, mostly after seeing many things a little girl shouldn't. So, most of the time, you kill anyone who pisses you off in the slightest bit. But all that changes when you meet a certain straw hat hair pirate. <laughs> Let's go! I, I did scroll through the first chapter to make sure it was good. It does seem pretty okay, a good ish. Okay. Good-ish. Good-ish, yes. Like, it was pleasant for my eyes to not hurt. <laughs> right. And that's saying a lot, apparently. <laughs> so I think what we're going to do is flip a coin. So uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to ask my phone to <laughs> flip a coin. I don't have anything yeah. on me. All right. So if it's heads, we'll go for roomies. If it's tails, we'll go for happiness. Gotcha. All right. Let's see. Flip a coin. It's heads. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> Jesus, roommates. I love that the first time we're uh, <laughs> we're coming back to record, I have Sanji as my profile picture for the yeah. Luffy shit. It's not even because we're reading a Luffy one. I'm just a sim. No, it's just <laughs> yeah, it's just fitting. Yeah. <laughs> All right, roomies. Let's roomies. read this shit. All right, so I think from what I like skimmed, it's mm-hmm. uh, we're living with uh, Luffy, Sabo, and Ace. <laughs> okay. And um, there's a YN. So uh, sh- what should oh, our, yeah. our name be for this? <laughs> um. What should our name be? Um, duffel bag. I don't know. <laughs> okay, I, that's I all that comes to mind. Um, the first okay. thing I thought of was the body bag thing that we use at work. The, what we call a body bag, but it goes over the racks. Oh, I had no idea what you were talking about for a second. Oh, I was what? Like, what the <laughs> fuck is the body bag? <laughs> but now I know what you mean. Yeah, Florence and. Kelly, they call it the body bag. Okay. You had me real worried there for a moment. <laughs> yeah, we just kill people and throw them in the body bags. Uh, we do yeah. business behind the dumpster. <laughs> yeah. Crazy bakery, you know. Yeah, that's what happened to Robin. <laughs> <laughs> God. Oh, I'm trying to think of it. Like, we need, like, a cool name. <laughs> yeah, um... Bade. I like that. Like Yay. like the, the card thing. Yeah. You like the, the suits. Okay, I like that. So S P A D. Yep. Okay. I I love it already. Yay. Alright, uh who would like to read this one? <laughs> um I'm good with whatever. Okay. No, I'll be brave. I'll go first. Okay. While you do that, I'm gonna go grab my water bottle. Alrighty. Luffy, you don't have to do this, Sabo told his younger brother. Luffy was sat on his bedroom floor 
He was packing boxes full of his clothes and other personal belongings. Yeah, we were just joking, Ace pitched into the conversation. Despite what he was saying, Luffy was still help. Oh, he was still helping Luffy pack his stuff. Joke or not, I'm moving out. <laughs> Luffy said he taped up the box. He went over to the bed and threw the sheets into a bag. Plus, Spade is fine with me moving in with her. Oh, so we're moving. Okay. So we have our own little place. <laughs> Luffy's yeah. moving out of his brother's place to move in with us. Wow. Okay. You know what? That's That's a lot better. <laughs> Yeah. I was like, oh my god, we're going to be rooming with like three boys. Oh my god. Yeah, <laughs> so that would be a lot. <laughs> That's what I'm worried about. You're a lot to handle, Sabo sighed. He was more worried about Spade being able to keep up with Luffy's appetite and his wild antics. But he was... Then he was about Luffy moving out. He didn't want the poor girl to go in, into his debt because of his brother. <laughs> There you guys go again. Treat me like a baby. I can take care of myself. Luffy huffed. He grabbed some of his boxes and went downstairs to load them into Mark. Who the fuck is Marco's truck? Oh! <laughs> Mark. Okay. Now I know who this person is. Sorry. Okay. I was like, who the fuck is this bitch? Just rolling up. I'm gonna Google One Piece Marco. He's, he's cool. He has one of my favorite double fruits. Okay, let's take a look. Well, he looks nice. So I will let out a sigh and grab one of the many boxes. He knew once Luffy set his mind on something, there was no changing it. Well, at least they got that right about Luffy. Yeah. <laughs> that That's literally, like, they'll be making a plan of, like, how to do something for, like, like an arc, and then Luffy just, like, charges in. Just disregards the plan. Classic Luffy. <laughs> yeah. That's not what I meant. All right. I think I'm done. <laughs> okay. All right. If he wants to move out, let him move out. Uh, you, what? Is that like a grammatical error? I have no thing? idea. I'm skipping it. Uh, plus, Spade's only making him pay for food. Sounds like a sweet deal if you ask me, Marco commented. His remark effectively s shutting Sabo up, his, the blonde's lips forming into a tight line as he dumped the box he was holding into the bed of the truck. hee. <laughs> See, Marco gets it. Luffy chuckled. He went back inside to start dismantling his bed. Ace was still in his room, taping the last of, of the boxes shut. He looked at Luffy when he came into the room, giving him a weak smile. I'm not going to try to change your mind about this, but I will miss our midnight snack raids, Ace admitted. He moved over to help Luffy take apart his bed. Just come to Spade's house and we can eat food together, Luffy suggested a happy-go-lucky smile on his face. Aww. Yeah, I like him. I don't think Spade will appreciate me coming to her house in the middle of the night, Ace pointed out. What? Luffy just shrugged his shoulders and brought his mattress downstairs. Why is there a hundred eight comments? <laughs> oh. I, That's why does, odd. Why does it not let me open any of these anymore? It lets me open it. Oh. That's weird. Maybe you just have to reload, because it did that for me like last time we read something. Yeah. Well... I can only imagine what what is being said in the comments. Yeah. Is it bad? Um. <laughs> no, nah, it's just funny. Okay. People are like, uh, you know, I wouldn't mind if he did come over. <laughs> to be fair, Ace is kind of <laughs> <laughs> No, yeah, totally. Yeah. He's got that fucking so... greaser look to him. So, wouldn't mind that. <laughs> Let me make sure I'm thinking of the right guy here. Yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's cool. Dude, especially when you see him in Alabasta, he looks mm -hmm. so fine pulling off the the, 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 the greaser look. It, mm -hmm. It's good for so him. good. <laughs> oh, sorry, I yawned. Okay. Marco helped Luffy put his mattress into the bed of the truck while Sabo and Ace brought the frame down. Okay, let's head to Spades. Marco got into the driver's seat, Luffy in the passenger with Ace and Sabo in the back. The drive was a bit of a long one. Spade lived on the other side of town. I hope Spade knows what she's getting herself into. Me too. I hope I know what Spade's getting herself into. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, chapter two. Let's see. Yeah, you have more stuff than I thought you would. You have to, as you help Luffy and his brothers bring many boxes into your apartment. The apartment complex you live was two stories high with six apartments in it. You were lucky that you only had two neighbors on the building. 
Wow, that's really spacious. I wish I could do that. Yeah. So this is on the top floor in one of the bigger apartments. Your apartment was an open concept. The front door opened to your living room with a, with a red L-shaped couch, a square coffee table, and a flash screen TV. From there, it flowed into the kitchen that had a big island, perfect for any of the... The what? For all of the... Oh, all the baking. Mm. <laughs> I was like, the eye not being there really threw me off for some reason. <laughs> I was like, what is this word? <laughs> a, a stainless steel fridge, four burner stoves, and two ovens. Holy shit, we must be really into baking. <laughs> this is ridiculous, yeah. This is like, um, this feels like upper class kitchen shit Definitely, with the two yeah. ovens. <laughs> mm-hmm. You already had a dining room table that seated up to six people. You were surprised at first that it fit into the space. Attached to the kitchen was a set of French doors that opened to the balcony. You had a few lawn chairs that, lawn chairs and potted plants on it. Next to the living room was a hallway that led to three bedrooms, one that you used for your art studio and a bathroom. Your bedroom had its own bathroom attached to it. Wow, fucking luxury over there. <laughs> yeah, Jesus Christ. How, how much do we get paid and how much is this rent? Because <laughs> I feel like we're going like paying... 3000 for rent already. Yeah. What is our profession? Well, it says we have an art studio. So I'm oh. guessing we're like a, like a starving artist type. That this like... is... Uh, we ain't starving. <laughs> I guess not. But this is crazy. Oh, that's... Oh, that's really funny. That <laughs> we just have like an art <laughs> studio. We can afford this. Yeah, this is ridiculous. Damn, this place looks nicer on the inside. Does the outside is commented. He wasn't wrong. The landlord really didn't really keep up with the upkeep of the outside of the complex, especially for fresh coats of paint when needed. The parking lot was cracked in some places and weeds were growing through the cracks. The courtyard space was overgrown with tall grass and there was ivy growing up to the sides of the buildings. The rent's cheap too. How the hell is the rent cheap? It is absolutely <laughs> not cheap. No. <laughs> You're telling me this big open condo with, like, nice kitchen, three bedrooms, and, like, a nice balcony is, is like, cheap. <laughs> yeah, this is crazy. You said as you opened up the bedroom door, the walls were painted a baby blue and had a dresser in the corner. Besides, the, besides that, the room was empty. This is your new room, Luffy. <laughs> Wow, this room is even bigger than my old room, Luffy cheered. He put the box he was carrying on top of the dresser. His eyes were opened wide in awe as he surveyed his new room. He walked over to his closet, taking a peek inside. This closet is huge, too. You could fit a bed in here. I wish I was the one moving in, Ace pouted. You giggled at his pouty face, going back to help Marco bring in Luffy's bed. Are you sure you're fine with this? Luffy's a lot to handle, Marco asked you. He grabbed one end of the bed frame while you grabbed the other and headed over to the stairs. The apartment didn't have an elevator. You didn't mind, though. It was only one flight of stairs. Plus, your legs and butt looked amazing from going up and down the stairs. Okay. Anyway. We, uh, we never skip leg day, apparently. <laughs> apparently not. It's fine. You guys are worrying too much, you reassured the brother. He stared at you for a bit, like he was studying some new species of life. Quiet, you're something else, left his lips. You just rolled your eyes at the older brother. You knew them telling you Luffy was a lot to handle was actually them not wanting their baby brother to leave the nest. These guys aren't fooling anyone. They just love Luffy too much to see him leave. Aww, that's cute. Yeah, that's <laughs> sad. <laughs> Back in his new bedroom, Luffy was unpacking all his boxes. He stuffed his clothes into the dresser and piled some, some up in the closet. He stacked his video games in a corner of the room. He looked like he'd been living in that room for years. Jeez, Luffy, don't you know how to organize your stuff? Saibo groaned. He opened the dresser and started to fold his younger brother's clothes. Looks like you could use some hangers and a bookshelf or desk, you commented, as you and Marco set the bed frame down in the spot Luffy wanted it in. Marco grabbed the screws for the bed, putting it together with the help of Ace. <laughs> That's what I forgot to bring, Luffy tapped the side of his head. He let a small chuckle at his cuteness and went over to help him unpack his stuff. After an hour of unpacking, everything was finally in its place. Who the fuck is Thatch? <laughs> no idea. I can't remember. Oh. 
No, I, no, okay. One no, I piece remember. thatch. Uh, he looks silly. <laughs> now I remember who it was. My bad. Yeah. That's what bring up your bring your bookshelf by later today. Marco told Luffy, "You pulled his little burger." <clears throat> Shit, I had something stuck in my throat. <laughs> Marco told Luffy he pulled his little brother in for a hug. We're gonna miss your call saying that you set the kitchen on fire and need to, need me to come put it out and bring you food. God. Oh, how sweet. Wait, a fire <laughs> I miss you guys too, but I'm only forty minutes away, not moving to another country. So stop acting like you'll never see me again. Luffy assured his brothers. Savo and Ace joined in for a hug. That's nice. That is nice. You guys are free to visit whenever. This is Luffy home too now. You said in a calm voice. The brothers pull you into a giant hug as well. Your arms fold, bound themselves around Luffy as he held on to Marco. Breaking from the hug, the three brothers said one last goodbye while you and Luffy returned to your apartment. You got started on supper, making beef stew and chicken wings. That sounds awesome. I want chicken wings. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, th- damn, chicken wings sound so good right now. <laughs> yeah. You made sure to make a lot knowing Luffy had a, a a vigorous appetite. Meanwhile, the younger male was sitting in the living room, hooking up his gaming console to the TV. Is supper almost ready? Luffy asked, his head just visible over the sofa as he sat on the floor. Not yet. How much longer? Like, 20 minutes? <laughs> 20 minutes? That's too long. <laughs> God. God, this is just like the shenanigans on the boat. I can I can mm-hmm. see it now. I love a good shenanigan. <laughs> it's not that long. I play I'll play some video games with you to make time go by faster. You suggested. You wipe your hands off with a dish towel and join Luffy on the living room floor. You two played a racing game until the timer of the oven went off. I'm I'm guess. I, I know it just says a racing game. I'm just picturing we're playing Mario Kart. <laughs> yes. Only the best game. <laughs> True as hell. Yay, food! Luffy cheered as he ran into the kitchen. He didn't even bother to pause the game. You turn off the console going back into the kitchen to put on some oven mitts on taking the chicken wings out of the oven. Then you turn off the stove and, and shared some stew out of your for yourself and Luffy. Mmm, this is delicious, Luffy said over mouth of mouthful of food. He grabbed a napkin and wiped away the food from the side of his face. Such a messy eater. I'm glad you like it. It's nice having someone to eat with. You sighed, the corner of your lips drawn down in a bit. You okay, Spade? Luffy asked. He put his spoon down and shuffled closer to you, putting his arm around your shoulders, pulling you into a side hug. Mmm, yeah, I'm fine. Just glad you're here. You smiled at Luffy. He didn't look totally convinced, but he went back to eating his food. You were busy. You were being honest with the reason for Luffy moving in with you because you were lonely. Most of your friends lived on the other side of town and your schedules barely matched up for you to hang out. So when Luffy told you he wanted to move out, you jumped on the chance to spend more time with at least one of your friends. That and you had a tiny crush on the Ravenette. Perfect. Chapter three. Let's go. I wish there were titles instead of just saying like the number, but yeah, it's fine. Chapter three. Okay, so, do you want me to? No, nah, I I can do it. Okay. I'm a little nervous because I like just looking at the comments on the side. There's 129 of just w- one thing, so mm. I'm a little. Oh, I see those now. Yeah. You f- you felt some something or someone nudging at your shoulder as you slowly awoke from your sleep. Rubbing your eyes, you flick on the lamp next to your bed, turning as you find a teary eye Luffy sitting next to you. Oh. I'm just imagining, like, it's like, it's like you're your parent, like, like you have a kid, you're, like, mm-hmm. asleep, it's 2 a.m., you wake up from a noise, you look over at the, the door, you see your child standing there, and he's like, Mom, I flew up. Yeah. <laughs> this is the vibe Very I'm getting. Luffy, yeah. Oh, honey, what's wrong? You you pulled the young boy into your arm, his head resting just... <sighs> I don't just like above... when call him a young boy. <laughs> yeah, me either. <laughs> I think he's 19, so we should be okay. fine. 
I don't want to read that part. Yeah. Just above seeing as you were taller than him. I just had a bad dream. Luffy mumbled out, his head leaning more onto your hand as you gently rubbed his hair. That happened. That happens sometimes when you move into a new place. I know it's a bit scary when you move here by yourself, but it'll get better. You told him. His head just nodded up and down on your shoulder. You sat there for a while. Luffy, in- <laughs> Luffy, your arms while you slowly rocked him back and forth. <sighs> God damn it. <laughs> can, I, can I sleep with you tonight? Luffy mm. on everyone. Anyone else you could have called up her, but you knew Luffy was too innocent for those such thoughts. There's a hundred comments. <laughs> oh, God. And I can only imagine what's on them. Because I can't I, see them. I don't want to look at them. I, mean, I, I probably could pull them up on my phone, I think. Who, no, maybe. <laughs> yeah, right, sure. I'll take a look. Yeah. <laughs> the first one. <laughs> the first comment is, no, bitch, sleep alone, be a man. <laughs> love that yeah sure you lay down Luffy next to you as you pulled the covers over both of you you have planned to sleep with a bit of space between you two seeing as your bed is fairly large but instead Luffy wound his arms and legs around your torso holding you close <coughs> good night spade good night Luffy sweet dreams all right <laughs> all right that uh Hmm. It is only chapter three. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. Hopefully it's not gonna get worse. I... Oh, okay. <laughs> you woke up hot and sweaty. Cool. Luffy's arms were still wrapped around you. The raven had stuck to you the whole night. He gently unwound his arms from you and headed into your bathroom to brush your teeth and take a quick shower. You stripped from your sweat-drenched pajamas, hopping into the steam of hot water. You lathered your loofah up with soap and started to scrub your body clean. You heard- Oh, nah. Okay. You heard a door open and close, assumed it was Luffy leaving your room. That was until you turned around and saw, to your horror, Luffy staring at you through the glass door of the shower. Jesus Christ. I really hate this. There's 261 comments. Uh, yeah, there sure are. Let's take a quick glance. (laughs) I'm looking at it through my phone. Yeah. Everyone's like, that's scary! (laughs) Yeah. Hate that. The two of you stared at one another for a while. You completely mortified, while Luffy looked completely indifferent to the whole situation. It was silent between the the two of you, the running water being the only thing to be heard in the room. That and your rapidly beating heart. Luffy's... Uh, brown eyes starting to travel downwards and that's when you snapped out of your stunned state. You used your loofah to cover your downstairs and wrapped your arm around your breast. Luffy, get out! You yelled. The ravenette snapped out of his dazed state and quickly retreated from the bathroom. You rinsed off before turning the water off and you opened the shower door to grab your towel to dry yourself off. You grabbed the clothes you had brought with you into the bathroom, quickly slumping them on before heading out to check on Luffy. Why would you find the ravenette in the kitchen. <laughs> Yeah. Um, his head disappearing into the fridge as he searched for food. You cleared your throat, grabbing his attention. He, he peeked his head around the refrigerator door, a piece of lunch meat hang, hung from his lips. You could have asked me to make you something for breakfast, you told Luffy. You went over to the fridge. Luffy stepped aside so you could pull out the food you needed to make breakfast for the both of you. I tried when you were in the, the shower, Luffy explained. His cheeks were a rosy color as he stared intensely at the glass of orange juice he had poured for himself. You nearly dropped the eggs you were holding, but managed to catch them before you made a mess. Of God. course, he was only in the bathroom because of food. Yeah. You didn't know why you felt disappointed at this thought. Me neither. But carried on making eggs, bacon, and waffles. If only you turned around to notice how intensely Luffy was staring at you. I need to see these comments. <laughs> Yeah, let's take a look. The first thing I see is someone did like the the the, the like they made like eyes in the mouth with the emojis. Yeah. All right, chapter four. 
Chapter four. Are you loving this or what? Oh, uh, boy, am I. How many is this? Is this how many parts is this? Eighteen. Okay. I don't know. Maybe we'll come back to this if it's good. Who knows? Maybe. Oh shit, we got my boy Usopp in this chapter. Let's go. Oh <laughs> we got long nose. <laughs> <laughs> All right, chapter four. This place is really nice, Usopp commented. Luffy's friends were over to check out the apartment. Sanji's in the kitchen cooking lunch for everyone. Zora was drinking your beer. Not that you mind that much that beer had been there from the last time your older brother visited you. Robin was checking out your collection of books while Nami was raiding your closet looking for outfits tomorrow. More light to keep forever. <laughs> God. So, where's Brooke and Frankie? You asked as you sat between Usopp and Luffy, the three of you playing a, vi a video game. Brooke had a tour and, and Frankie had a couple of cars to work on today. Zoro explained he finished his finished off his can of beer before grabbing another. At the pace he was going, you probably had to go and buy another case of beer. <laughs> How long is Brooke? Absolutely. How long is Brooke on tour for? You helped Sanji set the table. The, the whole time Luffy was standing right next to you, a line of troll dripping from his mouth as he stared at all the delicious food. I believe a month. He's touring mostly in the UK, Robin replied without looking up from the book she's reading. Can I? Hey Luffy, don't start eating without the ladies. God. Sanji yelled at the ravenette who was stuffing his face full of food. Luffy was looking over at him, confused, before shoveling more food in his mouth. Ha, Luffy, you- Oh, shit. <laughs> ha, ha, Luffy, you should have at least waited for everyone. And yeah, Robin, you can borrow that book. You chuckled as you sat down at the table next to Luffy. Rob Robin marked her page in the book and joined the two of you at the table, followed by Usopp and Zoro. Nami came out of your room, holding up an armful of clothes. Uh, Nami, don't you think that's a bit much? <laughs> Are you kidding me? I... This isn't enough. Your your clo your closet is huge and full of so many clothes. It's like a mini boutique. Nami huffed as she set the pile of clothes down on the couch before joining the rest of you at the table. Well, if it's a boutique, maybe I should start charging you, you teased. Don't joke about that. Nami hissed out, causing you all to laugh. Lunch was full of jokes and talks about day-to-day -day life. Once lunch was over, Robin had to leave for her job at the museum. She took Zoro along with her as she lived along the way. Um, this way he wouldn't get lost. I <laughs> love that. I also love in this modern day thing, Robin works at a museum. That That's great. Mm -hmm. I love that for her. Yeah, good for her. Spade, a lovely lady such as yourself shouldn't be doing dishes. Allow me, Sanji complimented you as he took the rag and plate from your hands. No, no, it's fine. This is my place, after all. Besides, you made a really delicious lunch, you said, while taking the, ra the rag back from the blonde's hands. I'm glad to hear you enjoyed it, Sanji said, as he once again took the rag from your hands. You were about to protest when a pouting Luffy wiggled his way in between the two of you. Stop hogging, Spade! Luffy whined. He grabbed Sanji by the shoulders and pushed him toward the living room before joining you back at the sink. Your eyes widened a bit as Luffy took the rag from you and started to wash the dishes. I didn't know he could do dishes, let alone clean for that matter. Luffy was actually really good at doing dishes. You stood there in stunned silence as you dried the clean plates. You turned to look at Nami, Usopp, and Sanji. Three of you, the three of them looking just as surprised as you were. There, all done, Luffy chimed as he rinsed off the last plate and handed it to you to dry. Holy shit, I didn't know you could clean, Usopp gasped as he stared at his Rivenet friend. I didn't, but when Spade said I could move in with her, I decided to practice so I wouldn't be a hassle like my brothers say I am, Luffy explained. He grabbed a chocolate bar from the cabinet and plopped himself down on the couch. Yeah, he does. I love how we practice cleaning, because he's never mm. done it before in his life. That's pretty good. And That's... why is there 109 comments on just him going like, yeah, I practiced how to clean. That's, oh, God. I don't even... I can't even see. I have a stupid ass ad on my screen. <laughs> <laughs> Just being nice and being like, oh, that's cute. Oh, okay, that's good. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you didn't have to do that. I don't find you a hassle at all, you admitted as you joined him on the couch. 
Wait, so if you moved in with one of us, would you have learned to clean? Usopp asked as he pointed to himself, not Sanji and Nami. Mm, no, was Luffy's simple reply, which caused all four of you to, sw to sweat drop. Well, <laughs> although a smile did spread across your face as you felt like maybe you were a little extra special to Luffy. Another 115 comments. Why is there so many comments? <laughs> one of them is no shit. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, chapter 5. Chapter 5. No, it, did, it didn't say. But I know, th okay, we know now it takes place in like modern AU and everything. Mm -hmm. So do devil fruits not exist? I guess... Or do they? And they just, like, they don't talk about it. Because Brooke's no a idea. skeleton. And the only reason he why sure he's is. a skeleton is because of his devil fruit. So, yeah, is he just a I normal dude? Because I'm pretty sure he's, like, 50. <laughs> I mean... Oh, that's a good question. Didn't think about that. Well, at least he has his blossoming music career to, <laughs> to lean back True. on. True. All right, let's see. Chapter 5. That night, Luffy did not sleep in your bed, which you were glad about. It meant that he was getting more comfortable living here. I thought you did miss not having the ravenette's warm body next to yours and hearing his little snores as he slept peacefully. What am I thinking? I should be asleep by now. Sleeping didn't come to you that night. Instead, you went over to your studio to work on a painting. Seems having Luffy sleep in your bed for one night really messed up your sleep schedule. <laughs> it wasn't until the sun started to shine from your bay window in your studio did you realize what time it was. You put your paintbrushes back into the into the blue elephant mug you kept on your desk. You took a step back, dusting your hands off on your apron as you did so. A barely audible gasp left your lips as you gazed upon the painting you had created. Aww. A painting of, of Luffy's smiling face. His smile, his smile shined brighter than the sunshine that had kept, that was coming through your room. You didn't realize that you'd been painting your roommate, just that you had been painting. You had one glance at the painting before putting it into the corner where it could dry without anyone seeing it in case someone came into the room. You quietly shut the door behind you towards the kitchen. You knew you would probably go back into the room to get some sleep, but you still weren't tired. You were hungry, however, so food must was a must right now. Opening the fridge door, you were met with an empty fridge. You checked the cupboards as well, and you were met with nothing once again. You then recalled Sanji making food for everyone the other day. Of course, most of it was made to keep Luffy full. I guess I gotta go grocery shopping. I don't want to go while hungry, though. You had a mini battle with yourself on whether you should just order in something to eat or do a proper shopping. Time skip. Real cool, um, writing skills. I love time um, skips in, in fan fiction. It's so funny. It is really funny. I want to see an author do that. Like, for, like, a real book? Just put yeah. the word time skip. <laughs> yeah, just put the words time skip. Yeah. Oh. Mm, these waffles are delicious, Luffy gushed as he drizzled more syrup onto his waffles. After your little internal battle with yourself, you decided to make to wake Luffy up and take him for breakfast before the two of you went shopping for food. You took a sip of your coffee as you watched the young meal eat. You'd finished your food a while ago and were now sitting patiently as Luffy ate his many orders of food. I feel like this is the Waffle House. I oh, I hope <laughs> I it is. This is the vibe that I'm getting for this. Mm-hmm. Here, try some, Luffy said, as he held a fork full of syrupy waffles in front of your face. Oh, um, okay, you mumbled out as you opened your mouth. Luffy somewhat gently shoved the waffles into your mouth. You managed not to choke as he as he chewed the sweet breakfast food slowly. These are really good. Right? Luffy continued to eat all his food. Every once in a while, he would give a bite of what he was eating. Does this ca- Jesus Christ! How down bad are we? <laughs> this is, like, ridiculous. Oh, now the comments are appearing. Yep. There's so many on this. One of them is, you desperate bitch. <laughs> and I love that. 
Yeah. When they were just like, girl, no. <laughs> this is not yeah. it. That's so funny. I like that modern Wattpad readers at least have a sense of humor. Yeah. The author's not so much. <laughs> <laughs> You're right about that. Hmm? You're right. Oh my. Yeah. <laughs> Once Luffy was done with all his food, the two of you headed to the supermarket that was nearby. You allowed Luffy to wander off so he could pick all the food he liked while you looked for what you liked. It made things quicker. This was as you started to feel the effects of not sleeping starting to take over. You didn't even know if you picked out the right cereal, your bleary eyes unable to focus on anything. Whatever, if you didn't like it, Luffy would surely eat it for you. This is true. Speaking of Luffy, you haven't seen him since the two of you entered the market. You didn't even hear him. Curiosity and worry got the better of you, and you decided to put your shopping on hold while you searched for your roommate. You went to the meat section first, seeing as the young boy loved to eat it so much, but he wasn't there. Next, you went to the candy aisle, as Luffy liked to snack all the time, but again, he wasn't there. You rushed over to the produce section. Maybe he wanted some carrots? <laughs> 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 Although you've never seen him eat a vegetable <laughs> willingly. Again, he was not there. What? Where the hell is he? Were you just missing him each time you went to another aisle? Panic started to set in into your stomach. As, set into your stomach as went back down each and every aisle, still not seeing the raven friend. Wait, I have a cell phone. <laughs> he has a phone. I'll just call him. God. That's, that's, that's a mood. I keep forgetting that too. <laughs> You listened to the tone dial for a while before it answered, and your ear was assaulted by laughter and loud music. Luffy, where are you? There's a bouncy castle out out back. Luffy practically shouted before hanging up. <laughs> bouncy castle. Jeez. That's a mood. Wow, he just went wandered off to just go have fun. <laughs> yeah. You know what mood? I would do the same thing if I was going yeah, to the grocery I admire store. That. Okay. Oh, hold on. Okay. You good? Oh, hold on. <laughs> d d does the chapter end there or did it not? I think it ended there. Okay, because okay. I remember that one time when my uh, computer showed that it ended, but it didn't actually. So I was just checking. Okay. Gotcha. Next part. God. Alright. Me start next part? You you start next part. Gotcha. You walked out the front doors of the food market and headed towards the back of the building where Luffy said the bouncy castle was. Once you got to the back of the building, you had a balloon shoved in your face by a clown that had a sad face painted on her face. You mumble a quiet thanks and headed over to the large bouncy castle that was set up. You immediately spotted Luffy bouncing amongst the many children, a large smile on his face. You decided to let the male continue bouncing around as he was having so much fun. Hey Spade! Come in, this is so fun! Luffy yelled as he waved at you from inside the bouncy castle. You just shook your head. Luffy, I'm a bit old to be playing in a bouncy castle. You called back at him. Nonsense, no one is ever too old to have some fun. The clown that was running the bouncy castle told you. Luffy agreed with the clown as eagerly bounced over to you. Come on, it'll be fun, Luffy said with a bright smile on his face. Many of the kids in the bouncy castle started to chant, come in. Luffy joining in with them. You let out a reluctant sigh as you slipped off your shoes and joined Luffy in the bouncy castle. Was I just peer pressured by a bunch of kids? Yes. At first, you just slightly bounced in a corner of the castle. You didn't want to jump too hard and accidentally fall on some kid. Well, that's what you planned on doing until Luffy jumped right in front, causing you to fall on your butt and then bounce back only to land on your face. That's not how you do it, Spade. Luffy grabbed your hands, pulling you back up to your feet. Instead of letting go of you, Luffy started to jump around the castle and in order to keep up with you, actually had to put some effort into your jumping. Even though you looked like a baby giraffe learning to walk for the first time, you were having lots of fun. Many parents were watching the two of you. You swear you heard comments like, Oh, young love, and they're so cute, aren't they? Many of comments which caused you to blush while Luffy kept a happy, carefree look on his face. Either he didn't hear what people were saying, or he just didn't understand. 
probably un- yeah. didn't understand. <laughs> probably. Eventually, some of the kids were gone, and it was just you and Luffy bouncing on the castle while a cup, like a couple of crazy kids. Even though the sun was setting and you needed to buy food before the market closed, you didn't care. You were just enjoying the time you were spending with Luffy. You and Luffy started to play a game of tag, which was kind of sad seeing as it was just the two of you. <laughs> you found yourself excitedly jumping away from the raven net. That was it. Got Luffy's leg tangled with yours just as he was about to tag you, causing both of you to fall over. You started to laugh. Well, that... Shit. <laughs> you you started... You both started to laugh. Well, that was until you noticed Luffy's face was very close to yours. Your laugh slowly died off as you started up a giggling male that was on top of you. <laughs> oh. Um, we should go buy some food, you suggested as you shoved Luffy off of you. You quickly got out of the bouncing castle and put your shoes back on, your roommate falling behind you. I almost forgot about the food. I was so busy looking at your smiling face. Luffy hummed as he uh, finished tying up his shoelaces in instead of next to you. I thought you didn't know he was standing next to you. You were too busy thinking about what he just said. Come on, let's go buy get look, shit. <laughs> Come on, let's go get food. Luffy dragged you behind him as he headed to the store. Time skip. <laughs> time skip. I'd love me a good time skip. Classic. You had your hair wrapped up in a towel as, and headed to your room. After arriving back at home with Luffy, you took a shower while he put the food away. You were all sweaty and your legs felt like jelly after spending most of the day in the bouncy house. Buzz, buzz. <laughs> God. You look at your phone to see that you have just gotten a text from Marco. Hey, I just wanted to see how things are going with Luffy. Everything is fine. Luffy is awesome. I don't know what you guys were so worried about. Although my legs do hurt. Hurt? From what? Luffy does have a lot of energy, that's for sure. What? <sighs> yeah, he is way more than I expected. I didn't even think Luffy knew about such a thing. Luffy doesn't know about bouncy castles? Wait, what are you talking about? Me and Luffy spent the day jumping in a bouncy castle. What are you talking about? Nothing. Pervert. You Why? put your phone down on your dresser. Bro, there's 169 trying. comments of just of just the text of Luffy has a lot of energy. That's for sure. Jesus Christ. Oh, that that there is are. so funny. I gotta see at least one. Please show me. The best. All of them are like making fun of it. Oh, I can't. It's not showing up. Damn it. <laughs> they are funny. You put your phone down on your dresser and finish drawing your hair. You couldn't believe Marco thought you had sex with his brother. You just rolled your eyes and left your room to get started on supper. Not that I wouldn't want to have what? sex with Luffy. <laughs> but I'm pretty sure he only sees me as a friend. Jesus oh, Christ. God. No, it would be really funny if they didn't list us as mature. <laughs> oh. Oh, God. That would be so funny. And... Uh. <laughs> Alright, chapter seven. Chapter seven. You stared at the blank canvases that were on the, on the what? Easel. Okay, the easel in front of you. What the? Oh, is that the thing that they call where they have like it's, it's, it's like it a like bunch of wood that holds a painting up. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. It's an easel. Okay. I'm not really a painter. <laughs> <so>. <laughs> I don't own a condo with a my own paint studio. <laughs> <laughs> You haven't done anything in a while except the painting you did of Luffy. You looked over to said painting, which sat in the far corner of the room. Luffy's smiling face stared back at you as you pondered what to do. You gazed at the details that you put on Luffy's face and then it hit you. You quickly turned around in your chair to face your easel and started to paint. Spade, I'm hanging out with Zoro and Sanji. Do you want to come along? Luffy asked as he knocked on the door of your art room. He jiggled the door now trying to get in, but you got the door locked. You didn't like anyone looking at your art until they were till you were finished. I'm in a creative move right now, but if you tell me where you guys are going, I'll try to meet up with you later. Yeah, you answered the Ravenette. You heard a sigh from the other side of the door. It sounded like Luffy was disappointed that you won't be able to hang out with him right away. Ah, uh, but we were going to go to the park and play ba- basketball. We need an extra player. Luffy whined, and you 
You could practically see his pouting through the door. You look back at the painting that you started. The vision of what you wanted was still clear in your head, plus you needed to wait for it to dry before you can get to the next layers and finer details. Basketball won't hurt, you whispered to yourself. You stood up from your chair, wiping your hands on the painter's apron before taking it off and dripped it over the back of the chair. Put your painting brushes in a bucket of water for them to soak as you made your way over to the door and unlocked it. As soon as you opened it, a bright smile appeared on Luffy's face. Go change clothes. Zoro and Sanji are already on their way to the park. Oh, their Zoro's probably lost. <laughs> Luffy commented as he pushed you towards your room. Luffy went over to your closet looking for something for you to wear. He tossed a white tank top and a pair of black sweatpants at you. Um, Luffy, are you going to leave so I can change? Yes, the young man who was staring at you intensively. <laughs> oh, I... Such a dumber. <laughs> Said I love him. <laughs> He's so silly. He's just a silly little guy. <laughs> oh, right, Luffy said as he made his way out of your room, closing the door behind him. You're glad Luffy didn't go looking through your drawers for a sports bra, though he was, probably didn't know what that was. You quickly changed your clothes and grabbed a pair of old sports sneakers from the back of your closet. Let's face it, you didn't like exercising or playing sports that much. Let's go, you said as you walked out the front door with Luffy. The two of you would be taking your car to the park as it was a bit far from your place. The two of you hopped into your car. Luffy instantly turned on the radio as soon as started up the engine. He sang very off-key with every song that played over the radio. Not that you minded, it actually made you smile. Oh, that's so fucking up... cute. <laughs> I love yeah. that. Nice little touch. You pulled up to the curb of the park. You turned off the car and put your keys into the bag you brought with you. You walked next to Luffy as he led the way towards the basketball court. Before you even made it to the court, you could hear Zoro and Sanji arguing with each other. <laughs> That's a mood. Yeah. Love. So Zoro didn't get lost, or did he have to come here with Sanji? I totally would have gotten that lovely lady's number if it wasn't for you. Face it, she wasn't interested in you. Your flirting was obviously scaring her. Your face is what was scaring her, you Maruo. You want to go d dart bros? Wait. Both of you stop it. Um, you yelled at the two males as you and Luffy entered the court. Zoro had a slight stare glare on his face as he turned to stare at whoever just yelled at him, but it soon disappeared when he realized it was you. Hearts <laughs> popped up in Sanji's eyes as he danced his way over to you, compliments spilling from his mouth. You just gently pushed Sanji's face away as from yours <laughs> as he was in your personal bubble, and it went over to place your bag next to Zoro's. So, what are our teams? You asked, slightly dreading the the answer. You stuck that basketball whether while well, each one of the other boys handed boys shit. <laughs> you stuck that basketball while each one of these boys had been oh, that's why. I was like they put an end there. I don't wonder why that threw me off. <laughs> yeah. So, had been on their school basketball team during high school. You knew whoever you were team with would help you out, but it still meant you were facing the other two. Why can't we just play frisbee? It'll be Zoro and Spade versus me and Luffy, Sanji replied. He obviously didn't want to be partnered with Zoro. <laughs> yeah. Alright, let's play. I don't know how to play fucking basketball. <laughs> yeah. I, I played it on the on Wii Sports Resort. <laughs> that was That was pretty cool. <laughs> right. Other than that, no experience. <laughs> mm-hmm. Uh, I played basketball in second grade. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. Uh, I was a very tall child when I was younger, and, uh, we were playing basketball one time, and the kid, there was a kid on the other team that was just scared of me, so he just ran away from me, like, in the middle of a game. Nice. Yeah. One of my proudest moments. Were you a scary child? No, I don't think so. I was just really tall. Oh. And he was like, I'm I'm having none of that today, which I respect. <laughs> what chapter name? Oh, eight. Okay. Yeah. One exhilarating long hour later, you guys are finally done with your game of basketball. Oh, I was hoping they would write it of us, like, failing. <laughs> yeah, I was hoping so, too, but it's okay. <laughs> you honestly didn't know how you lasted that long. Zora had to help you out a lot. Sanji even helped you out. 
So it even helps you out at one point, which causes Luffy to get angry because you can't help the enemy. (laughs) (laughs) There was an even a there was there was even a point where Sanji was blocking you and accidentally oh no no. No. (laughs) God. He he did that, which resulted in both Luffy and Zoro punching him over the head. You guys then had to wait for the blonde to get his nosebleed under control. In the end, you and Zoro had somehow managed to win. (laughs) You cheated, Marimo. Did not. I'm just better than you. (laughs) God. Once again, Zoro and Sanji were butting heads at each other. Honestly, Luffy and Sanji would have won, but you could tell the Ravenette was going easy on you by letting you take your time to shoot the ball into the net or letting you steal the ball from him. Well, um, Luffy and I are just going to go get something to eat. <laughs> you were ignored by the two males. Luffy didn- didn't seem to care about his friends arguing. He quickly grabbed your arm, rushing you over to the car so you two can go get food. Damn, we just left them in the park arguing at each other. Sure did. <laughs> and they don't even know we're- we left. <laughs> <laughs> They'd be like, wait, where the hell did they go? <laughs> Love that. You smiled over at the young male that sat in your passenger seat, a giddy smile on your face, and as he couldn't wait to eat food. Can we get pizza? Pizza, pizza. <laughs> <laughs> Luffy chanted over and over. You nodded your head and took a left at the light, heading towards a good pizza shop you knew. Once you once you pull into the small parking lot of the pizza shop, Luffy practically flung himself out of the car and and through the doors of the shop. Didn't even wait for you to park. Jeez. That is so Luffy. Yeah. Come on, Spade. Order something. It's Order whatever you want. It's on me. Aww. Luffy told you as he... As you walked in after him. He was leaning on the counter, looking up at the menu, trying to decide what he wanted to order. You decided to get two slices of your favorite pizza and a... And a is that a slushy? Is that what that says? Or am I just reading it wrong? No, yeah, that's slushy. Okay. I didn't know pizza places had a slushy machine, but... I guess this one does. <laughs> yeah, they're fancy. Mm-hmm. On the other hand, Luffy ordered what seemed like six pizzas and 20 chicken wings and three oh. things of cheesy bread. Cheesy bread be good, though. Mm-hmm. Especially the one from Pizza Hut. Oh, that mm-hmm. shit was so fire. Yeah. The lady behind the counter looked at him in stunned silence. She looked over at you and just nodded to let her know that your friend was very serious. (laughs) The woman was too stunned to speak. (laughs) (laughs) You and Luffy sat at the table near the big windows at the friend's store and waited for your food. Your food came out a lot quicker than Luffy's did. By the time you were done eating your pizza, Luffy finally came Luffy's food finally came out. The lady was behind the counter actually had to push another table next to yours to get all the food on it to fit. Jesus. I mean, to be fair, he did order six large pizzas, three things of cheesy bread, and 20 chicken wings. <laughs> he did, and I admire that about him. Dude, slay. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, okay. As Luffy scarfed down his food, the two of you chatted about your art career. Oh, so we are an artist. I guess so. I don't know how we can afford this condo, but... (laughs) Yeah, this is crazy. And the places you got to travel to because of it. I guess we're famous. (laughs) I guess so. Luffy told you about the job interview he had next week at a nearby daycare. Luffy is childish, so maybe he'll take care of the kids. Okay, I can see that happening. He's very kid-like, so I think think it's a match. (laughs) For the <laughs> Luffy also let you eat some of his chicken wings and cheesy bread, which was surprising, seeing as he never shares food with anyone, not even his brothers. Um, excuse me, someone cleared their throat, which caused you and Luffy to stop talking and looked over at the male that stood next to your table. He was quite tall, with tan skin and shaggy brown hair. His brown eyes sparkled once you took notice of him. Hello, did you need something? You asked him. He placed... He played with his fingers and looked down at his shoes before looking back up at you with a slight blush on his cheeks. Well, uh, I just spit it all, just spit it out already, Luffy said rather impatiently with a slight glare in his eyes, which caused the shy male to flinch a bit. He looked over at your friend 
a brow raised, not used to him being so mean to someone. Look, you're really pretty. Will you please go out with me? The shy male, the shy male yelled out. Your eyes widened, surprised by his outburst. So she's with me, pal. So back off. Luffy Damn. grumbled out as he was now giving a deathly glare at the unnamed male. What's with everyone cutting me off? Wait, did Luffy just say I'm with him, as in his girlfriend or just friend? You're a kid. Why would she be with you? The shy, well, not so shy anymore, man yelled in disbelief. By now, the staff at the pizza shop were staring at all three of you, making you feel rather uncomfortable. I'm not a kid, Luffy said as he stood up from his seat, causing shy guy to take a step back. You quickly stood from your own seat and tugged Luffy towards the door before things started to get ugly. Sorry, but I'm not interested, you told the shy guy before stepping out the door, Luffy following behind you to your car. The drive back home was silent, which was unusual for an energetic, energetic person like Luffy. What was even more worrying is that he looked like he was lost in thought. Luffy, you okay? He asked once you parked your car outside your guy's apartment. I'm just so sick of everyone calling me a child and treating me like one, Luffy huffed out an irritated frown on his usually smiling face. Why? What's wrong with being childish? You asked. You quite liked Luffy's childish side. It made you so happy to see him being so happy. Well, it's not like you're gonna be a kid. You're, it's not like you're gonna like a kid, Luffy sighed. He now looked kind of sad. What do you mean? You weren't catching on to what he was trying to tell you. I like you, <laughs> Luffy yelled, before pressing his lips against yours. What? All right. Well, Why is there 242 comments? Come on. I can't see any of them. My god. Let me go back and take a look. What chats are we on? Eight? Let me see if I can find it on my, my phone. <laughs> Someone's like, uh, consent? <laughs> Dude, that's us in, like, almost every single one of these readings. Yeah. I'm just like, where's the consent? Yeah. God damn, the car. <laughs> God. Yeah, everyone is like, uh, car crash, but it says in the it text that it's, like, yeah, we're parked. Yeah. All right, I think we have time for one more. We gotta see how this develops. We're at the halfway mark of this book. Okay. And then hopefully, maybe one day we'll reread this. Maybe one day. <laughs> but today is not that day. No. All right. I guess I'll start. <laughs> All right. After the aftermath of the last one, I thought that I thought the dude that came up to us was gonna be like mm -hmm. a reference to someone in One Piece, but. Yeah, I thought so too, but he was just a guy. Yeah, this is a normal dude. Yeah. You sat there shocked as <laughs> as Luffy kissed you. Your your brain was short circuiting and your heart felt like it was going to explode out of your chest. You didn't even notice that Luffy pulled away the a defeated look on his face. Oh, what I don't I don't like that. <laughs> He's sad. I'm very sad. <laughs> you didn't kiss back. Like I thought, you don't like a kid like me. No! <laughs> Jesus Christ. The beside as he went to open the car door, his shoulders were sulking as he walked to the front door of the apartment complex. Finally, your brain seemed to work. You finally undid your seatbelt and hopped out of your car, slamming the door behind you. Just as Luffy was about to open the door, you pushed it shut, effectively trapping Luffy between you and the door. His, his back on you. You <laughs> use your free hand to turn Luffy so he'd look at you, which he reluctant, which he reluctantly did so. The eyes were eye to eye, seeing as you two were the same height. I thought we weren't, but okay. <laughs> yeah, I thought he was shorter. Yeah. It's okay. All right, I guess. It's okay. We love uh, technicality. The continuity errors. Yeah, the continuity yeah. Errors. Luffy looked down at his feet, not wanting to look at you. A small smile made its way on your face as you gently cupped his chin and tilted it so he was now looking at you. Although his brown, his brown orbs. I God. Love it. Why couldn't they just put eyes? That's one of my. Yeah, I hate with. when people say orbs. It's stupid. Yeah, and it's, and I love it too. It's always on Wattpad. Where yeah. if someone says the word orbs instead of eyes, there will be a million comments that are just like, orbs! <laughs> like, making good. Fun <laughs> Make fun of them. I wonder if it's on here, because there's, there's 17 comments. 
Let me check. Let me check the orbs. Yeah, not the orbs. <laughs> yeah, we're like, no, not the orb. Like, maybe one of it. It's so funny. Yeah. Refusing to look anywhere at you, because, which caused you to giggle, which, as you pressed your lips to his, now it was Luffy's turn to not respond. <laughs> what? But Luffy tried to form a coherent sentence after you pulled away, but he didn't get his words straight. Instead, he was... Instead, a big red blush spread across his face as you pressed another kiss to his lips. This time, he kissed you back. <laughs> I don't know how I feel about this anymore. <laughs> yeah. His kissing was a bit sloppy, which you expected seeing as it was, as you were his first kiss. But you didn't mind it at all. You were just enjoying the kiss. <laughs> Man. That's nice. <laughs> mhm. Mm I was surprised that you kissed me at at first, which is why I didn't kiss you back. I honestly didn't know you liked me back, or even, or even knew what it meant to like someone. You confessed to Luffy as you leaned your forehead against his. Of course, I know what it means to like someone. <laughs> I didn't know Shanks would be in here. <laughs> Shanks explained God. it all to me, which I started. When I started feeling funny around you, but in a good way, Luffy giggled out. You laughed along with him as a slight brush on your cheeks as you realized Luffy told Shanks, who probably told everyone. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, 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 what do we have here? A voice from behind hummed almost creepy like you separate from Luffy and turn around to see the king, the, the Tease King Master himself. Ace, I don't. Damn, we got uh, caught in 4K. Okay, <laughs> very short time skip. It's like a commercial Dude. break. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Did it out in the open, huh? How daring! Ace teased from his spot on the couch. Luffy just laughing along with him, not knowing what his older brother was talking about. While you sat on the other end of the couch, a bright blush on your cheeks. We were just kissing you, yelled, <laughs> while checking a pillow with the freckled goon. He continued to laugh as the pillow hit him square in the face. Kissing leads to other things, you know. Ace smirked as he tossed the pillow back at you. He caught it and used it to cover your bright red face. What other things? <laughs> Luffy stopped laughing. He looked confused as he stared at you, then to his older brother. You removed the pillow from your face. He thought Luffy was joking. He kissed me first, so surely he knows about other stuff, right? What do you think couples do with each other? Ace asked his brother. By the look on his face, you could tell he was ready to corrupt his little brother. Which you didn't want. You liked innocent Luffy. Um, well, they hug and kiss and hold hands. They spend a lot of time with each other because they love one another. Luffy listed all the things he knew about a couple. And you had to stay, say you loved his answer. I love that, they too. Do. To be honest. Yeah. You're more than just that little brother. Couples often have sex. This time you chucked the whole damn couch cushion in Ace's face. Sex. I didn't. Oh, it's innocent. I didn't. I didn't hear that you like. I didn't hear the the cushion thing. Like we took a couch cushion and threw at him. Mm -hmm. I just started. I just heard you laugh when you said couch. So I thought we really mm -hmm. threw a whole couch. At I him. also thought that at first, and then I read cushion. I, I think I prefer the whole couch thing. Yeah, we threw the couch. <laughs> yeah, we threw the couch. <laughs> we threw the couch at him. There's so many comments everywhere on the on this like line of words. Yeah. Oh my god. They're everywhere. You can't escape it. Yeah. Don't ruin his innocence, you shouted at the freckled goon who is now clutching his bloody nose. Right, because you want to be the one to do that. Ace wiggled his eyebrows suggestively at you. He got up and went to your bathroom to take care of his bleeding nose. Th that's not what I meant at all, you yelled after him. I don't sense if he questioned you. Don't worry about that. There's a, there's 148 comments on just Luffy yeah. asking the question. That's, yeah. Please let me see it. No, I gotta, it's making me watch an ad. I'm not watching an ad. Alright, let me go back. I, I'm pressing uh, like crazy. It's not letting me anymore. Which line? <laughs> Spade Woods. It's like, uh, the, like the second last line. Yeah, that's 148 comments. 
I hope it's people like, well, when a mommy and daddy love each other forever. All of it's just like, don't worry about it. Okay, that's good. I, th- I thought people would be... <laughs> no. Just being a little bit weird. Mm-hmm. All right, so what do you think? Um... You know, it's it started out all right and then got weirder as we went on. Yeah. Um, I do like the shenanigans. Those are fun. I I really did think that we were moving in with, with. I thought things. that too. Yeah. I love how we're a successful artist. Mm-hmm. Um, that just can afford a condo. Yeah, that was. Like, really weird, but, yeah. you know, good for us, I guess. Yeah, we're successful. Mm-hmm. I think. <laughs> Hopefully we get to reward this. I, I kind of want to finish and see what happens. Right. Hopefully it's not, like, too out of character. Feels like all the characters that they've, they've shown us are pretty much in. To be mm-hmm. fair, I don't remember what Marco's personality was, so... <laughs> <laughs> so I guess this is, this is it. <laughs> right. But um, if you would like to read this, I'll have it linked down below. So uh, you guys can finish that of your own free will and look at the comments that I couldn't look at. <laughs> <laughs> but now it's time for everyone's favorite subject. Well, not everyone's favorite segment. Sorry. Uh, the I changed the name of it. It's called The Wheel of Regret now. Mm-hmm. Which I shall now share with Coda so she could see what the hell we're getting ourselves into the next session. Let's go. That way you can see the little yippee. Yippee. Close the ad. Hide that. All right. Well, you can just do control enter. Okay. Oh. All right. Spin the wheel. No. No, 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 no. No. We did it, boys. Oh. Oh. <laughs> now that we've landed on this, do you want me to remove it from the list? Yes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. We removed. So, yep. That's what we're doing with our lives now. Man. So, so, next reading. Germany x Italy. I can't... <laughs> it's been forever since I've even seen the Hitalia fandom. More, let's even watch the anime. Yeah. Let alone read a fan fiction. Yeah, I'm I'm at, like, a loss for words. <laughs> Did we put that in there as jokes? Oh my god. Oh, that happened to me and Kenzie. I made like a wheel for like all the mm-hmm. total drama uh, ships. And as yeah. a joke, we put on there Alejandro X Tyler. Because it's mm-hmm. a joke ship and everything. Uh, we landed on it. <laughs> we were oh, sitting there in disbelief. and like, oh my god, we're going to have to read this shit. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I guess if you guys like Italia... <laughs> Please like, please like and subscribe for the next one. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, this is gonna be a nightmare. No, yeah, this is going to be, like, hellish. God, I hope it's not... Yeah, because Germany's involved. I hope it's not yeah. racist. Oh, <laughs> it probably will be. Oh god, there's. I'm gonna put so many warnings. <laughs> I don't want... It's gonna have, like, my fancy little introduction and then just a black screen that says, Warning, this is not for the faint of heart. <laughs> <laughs> Viewer discretion is advice. Mm-hmm. Alright, so, well, this has been me, uh, Phoenix, and, and Coda. So I guess yeah. next time we'll read Italia. Oh, I don't want to. Oh. This is gonna be a nightmare. <laughs> yeah. Alrighty, take care, guys. Bye-bye. Bye.